Now, Harvey Norman and the Weekly Times get together to celebrate the incredible uh, people of regional Australia, particularly so many of those wonderful women in regional Australia. They call it the Shine Awards. We throw around terms like an unsung hero a lot these days. And frankly, it's a bit of a cliche. But for some in our community, it is more than applicable. It's absolutely true. And there's so many of them here in regional Australia. Meet Kate Davis. Ballarat born and bred, she's a woman who's not only proud of her region, but she wants to see it prosper. And she's doing just that, with a <laughs> phenomenal effort to bolster local food producers in this regional area. I started Plate Up Ballarat because I wanted to shine the spotlight on our chefs, our producers. There's an abundance of produce in our, um, in our region and we wanted to celebrate that. So many of our chefs were asking about where do we find our local produce. So we went about working on helping our chefs find the local producers around Western Victoria. There's amazing wineries, breweries, distilleries, potato farmers, you know, eggs. There is so much. We really are a food bowl in Ballarat and we just wanted to bring all of that together. Now behind every regional community there's a million cakes. Women who go above and beyond to get their town through whatever hell or high water is coming to pass. They usually do it silently. It's not about complaints. It's about getting it done with quintessential no-nonsense, no-fuss stoicism that us Aussies know and love. But we have to be honest too, this comes at a cost. Selflessness in our region often flies under the radar. It's under-recognised, it's under-appreciated. And that's where Harvey Norman's Katie Page and the Weekly Times' Penny Fowler stepped in with the creation of the Shine Awards. Katie and I had a cup of tea and we decided that we wanted to do something really to shine a light on rural and regional women. And just, I think, um, they're unsung heroes. They do so much in their communities and they're not necessarily recognised. Why does Harvey Norman support? 65% of our stores are in country areas. And we know how much community means in those rural areas. We know how much women are the backbone of those communities. So to be able to do such a small thing like this, but it's, it means so much. And today's a big day. It's the official Shine Awards lunch. And now we're going to put the spotlight on the women who deserve it. A coming together of rural and regional women from far and wide who have all done extraordinary things for their communities. The intention? to bring them the acknowledgement that they so often go without. Like last year's winner, Carmel Beresford, whose son Sam was killed in a freak farming accident. She wrote a book offering solidarity to other families who were navigating grief. There's Simone Dudley, an occupational therapist delivering game-changing therapy to cut off remote Aussie kids. And then there's our mate Kate. She's going home with a victory prize in the passion category. It's been amazing to be the recipient of the Passion Award, but not only for me, but for my community, because when I was announced as a finalist, it was so encouraging of the support that I was getting from my community, because the work that I do is because of the amazing people in Ballarat. For Katie and Penny, when they sat down to work this out, Kate was the standout winner. And I just think she's really inspiring, and her passion, she got the Passion um, Award, and she is a really passionate person and advocate for Ballarat, and I just think it's great that we could recognise her. And for the Shine Awards, the women at the helm are adamant. They'll continue to shine a light where it needs to be shed, on women who matter. Penny and I want to make sure that however long we're doing this, that we continue to make sure that rural women know that they're special and all the things that they do for community is so important. Thank you so much to Katie Page and Penny Fowler, uh, not just for the Shine Awards, but for their support of this program and when it comes to our town, something that we're looking forward to doing uh, for the rest of the year and a long time to come.